know, just coming out here, you know, like I said, competing, you know, and doing what I got to do, you know, just to establish myself to be that top guy call. So. I know you get a little defensive might not be the right word, but when yeah. they talk about your tackling, yeah. I, know, I know you get a little uh, attitude. What do you got to say to NFL teams that are worried about your tackling ability? Hey, man, look, I'm coming with full force. You know, you put me in a cover two zone, you'll see how I hit. So, like I told the scout, you know, you put me in cover two, you know, let that tight end run in his zone, I'll show you what I can do. So, you know, my aggression towards that, you know, just to, you know, let them know I'm physical, you let them know I can play, you know, whatever you need me to play. I'm versatile. You know, and, uh, you know, just put me in that position, I'll show you what I can do. Uh, like I said, just pick up, pick up where I left off. Uh, you know, just I, I didn't finish. You know, the combine as far as like the broad, the vert, and um, bench. So I wanted to, you know, be comfortable here. You know, at LSU. So, you no, know, they they understood my decision. So, um, you know, everybody showed up. Everybody asked. You know, when my play was. Obviously, there was a lot of guys here. So, you know, they saw what I can do, and uh, I felt like they got a they got a great impression of what I did. Do you think you? Uh... You think you're the best cornerback in this draft? What? <laughs> what? I played two years at LSU with eight picks. I don't think no cornerback, the cornerbacks I'm competing with, you know, that's, you know, highly up there with me, got seven, eight, I mean, seven, five, four, three, two, one picks, you know, so the stats don't lie. Like I said, I'm the best. They know I'm the best. You know, I can't, I can't compete with guys, you know, who talk. Then you pull up the stat line, mine's better. You know, I played two years. Other guy played four years, so you know you you do the math on who the best and who you're gonna take a ball hawk or a guy who played four years and only got seven picks. So you know that's that's my that's my theory on it. I am the best. How much we maybe talked about with like your agents or whatever about yeah. the the highs and lows of like expectations and criticisms in draft time because you hear you can hear one thing from somebody right. and something from somebody else. How much have you kind of talked with them and kind of roll with that? Uh, my agents, man, you know, just, you know, a guy, you know, I really trust, you know, and he told me, you know, what I needed to do at Pro Day, you know, uh, you know, do the do the weight room and do position work and you through. So, you know, trusting what he say, you know, believing in what he said, you know, obviously a lot of teams been calling, you know, we got it down to what y'all want. Y'all want what y'all want me to do at Pro Day. And they told us what, what they needed to see. And, um, you know, we did what they wanted. Now, now he's just waiting on see if he get my name called. I'm just talking about even the overall scope of like some people Assume you're the top corner, and yeah. then they're like, "Wait a minute, you know, you know, how do you just manage that just mentally yourself?" Uh, you know, I don't, pay, I don't pay attention to it. You know, uh, I know I'm the best. You know, obviously, like I said, statistically proven. Um, you know, just going in, you know, ready to compete. You know, at the um, at the rookie minute count, whenever you know I get selected. So, you know, my mindset different. You know, I don't really focus on like who the best. I know I'm the best. I don't gotta you know too much say too much about it. And um, you know, that's that's why I'm at with with that. About how many meetings have you had with co coaches or GMs, per se, and how are you handling that in terms of deciding who to meet with? Uh, you know, I meet with you know I meet with anybody. You know, uh, I don't got no picks and choose. You know, everybody I know this in this in this business, you know, people can trade and things like that. So I meet with everybody. I know I give everybody the opportunity you know, to meet me, and um, you know, so it's a blessing to even you know somebody to call to have a meeting with you. So, you know, in my shoes, you know, I don't I don't, I don't have a you know pick and choose on who I meet with. People ask. Any interesting or weird or unexpected questions such as it, or do, do you ever get asked like the, at the end of the Texas A and M game or anything like that? No, how do you? How do you they don't really, they don't really bank on nothing like yeah. that. They just bank on the like the most negative, the most negative thing I heard was just like, I know how I talk and things like that. I'm not scared to talk and stuff like that. But you know, with my response to them was, you know, I'm not scared to talk. You know, it's just, you know, I never, you know, had that really been in that position to make a big talk. You know, I'm always a man to man. So. They understood where I was coming from, so I never not told him, you know, just put me in, put me in a cover two and whenever you, you know, draft me, I'll show you what I do. What do you feel like your best attribute is? You say what? What do you feel like your best attribute is? My best attribute, uh, you know, man to man. You know, I can shut I can shut I can shut anybody down. So, you know, just playing at that level and confidence, you know, with that mindset, you know, you'll you'll be all right. And I think that's my best attribute. Pretty Which, said you, you got a lot of good advice from your yeah. veteran agent. Nah, you know, I be myself. You know, he want me to be myself. So, you know, this is who I am. You know, a guy, you know, who, you know, who can talk, who can talk and back it up. So, you know, I kind of got that confidence with me. So, you know, just if I if I say, you know, I got to do it and I got to prove it. So, you know, it's been proven. And Which LSU's team? known for turning out 
a lot of good NFL DBs. No doubt. But what is it about this school, this program, that helped you develop in your time here? NFL is you, baby. Uh, what, what? You know, just my red shirt year, man. Just sitting back watching, you know, guys, first round guys, you know, just how they take notes, you know, how they how they be professional, you know, how they greet the you know janitors and things like that. So you know, just being a professional every day, you know, my red shirt year played a big role in where I'm at today. Which teams in the first round? Which teams in the first round in need of corners? Do you sense are kind of showing a lot of interest or talking to you a good bit? I've been a lot of you know, been a lot of teams, man. Uh, my agent phone don't don't start ringing, but um. You no, know, it's been like Arizona, Oakland, Tampa, you know, you name it, all the top 10 teams have called, you know, and, you know, just, you know, wanted to, you know, schedule things with me. So, you know, like I said, my agent phone ain't stopped ringing. I'm pretty sure it's still ringing after I just did the um, field work. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's a, you know, a, a good thing, you know, but, you know, I'm ready to grind it out. What's the next few weeks going to look like for you? Next few weeks, Monday, man, I'm back in the gym, getting, getting my weight back right, you know, eating good, eating right. So, you know, just, you know, being a professional, you know, picking, taking that, you know, next step, you know, being a professional, recovery, things like that. Greedy, if you get invited to the draft, will you go or would you rather watch I'm already there, there, baby. I'll be there. One more for Greedy. You, you, guys, guys, uh, you and Devin from the 318 no uh, doubt. representing that area and <coughs> here with him on this day. How much have you guys talked about this moment? Uh, man, I remember we just got, we just finished talking. Uh, we was talking about, you know, we came in together. You know, um, you know, we did we did everything together. We made all SEC, we made all American, you know, we you know, we did everything together. So, you know, now we both, you know, first round guys. So, you know, just you know, just having him by my side, you know, doing everything with him, you know, it's a big step for us, you know. Obviously the city, you know, three one eight behind us, you know, and we, you know, fully support, you know, the three one eight. Can't wait to, you know, be able to give back, you know, and do a lot of things for that city. So, you know, definitely shout out to the three one eight. We love y'all, thank y'all for everything y'all done. Brooks, you got the last one. Yeah, a couple other DBs out there with you. How do you think that they uh, set themselves ahead today? Oh, they did great. You know, just encouraging. You know, they encouraged me. You know, we all, you know, one brother, you know, one one team, one heartbeat. So, you know, we all was in, you know, as one. So, you know, want everybody, you know, do great. And I feel like everybody performed at the best level that they could. So, you know, it was top notch for me. You know, I feel like those guys, you know, did what they had to do, you know, to prove that they supposed to be in the league. They they supposed to be, you know, a, a top person pick. So they did definitely came out and proved themselves.